fake news, fake media, fake interviews coming right up. Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another video. Today I've got something surprising that I've never heard of before, and that is fake interviews. And the example that came across my attention was this person had written on LinkedIn that they had they were being brought in for a company to, you know, have an interview for a position. And there was just rounds and rounds of interviews. And this was a pretty high up position, chief revenue officer. So they were meeting with the COO, the CEO, and some other like directors and stuff in the organization. And it was just interview after interview after interview. And how the person even knew that it was fake was there was an email sent out and he was accidentally copied on the email. And he figured out that it was fake because of the way they were talking in the email. And they were pretty much just using him for his expertise. So they're bringing him into interview and asking him questions about the particular problems they were having. And they were hearing his ideas, listening to his ideas, and then had no plans of even hiring him. Just wanted to take his free advice under the shell of them recruiting him for a position. When they had no interest in hiring him whatsoever, just wanted to steal his advice. So this is something that's out there in the universe. This is something that's out there. Companies are sometimes fraudulent with this, but the way that they that they're going to show it for our intents and purposes, our intents and purposes in clinical research is going to be different than this for most people. How they're going to show that an interview is fake, or not necessarily even an interview, but a job posting is fake, is a lot of times these companies will put out a job posting that they already have someone filled for. They, the position's already filled. They're just putting it out there for whatever reason, um, the equal opportunity to make sure other people have an equal opportunity to get a position. But a lot of times they put a position out there knowing good and well it's already filled by an internal candidate or filled by someone else, but they have to put the position out there anyway. So sometimes you'll see these so-called fake uh, job postings out there in the in the world. And every company does this, um, and sometimes it can work in your favor if you're that internal candidate who wants the position, um, so you won't even know that they're interviewing other people for it. Sometimes they'll post it, they may interview one or two people for it just to check the box, but they have no interest in actually hiring that person. So that's one way a fake interview could absol absolutely happen in clinical research. We've seen this a number of times, um, especially with the high turnover in you know, the high, uh, I guess, interest in a lot of these clinical research positions, a lot of times they're already filled before you, before the application's even put out there. So that's another reason why not to get discouraged if you get rejected a lot in clinical research. I have applied to over 200 jobs in to get my first start in clinical research and got rejected for most of them, easily over 185, uh, probably even more than that, probably closer to that 200 number to just get your foot in the door. So that happens a lot of the times. But there, there's another reason why. Sorry, my allergies are kind of annoying me today. But uh, so that's one way that there will be fake interviews in clinical research. And that's pretty much the main way that there's going to be fake interviews in clinical research. Other than that, if they're looking to bring people in, the vast majority of times those are going to be real, real interviews, real job postings. But I couldn't believe it because... I, I couldn't believe that people would actually take the time to do this, but it, it kind of makes sense why someone would do that to cut costs because you'd have to bring him in as a consultant, pay him thousands and thousands of dollars to get the information, or you could essentially get it for free. Um, but that, that is fraudulent. You can't do that um, under, the sky, other than, under the disguise that you're hiring someone for a job. So look out there for these fake jobs in clinical research and let me know if you see more of them like this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be so obvious because this is this is rare that you're going to see them like this in this article. But the more common way you're going to see it is when they post a job posting but have no interest of actually hiring somebody. They already know who the candidate is going to be to fill the position. And they're going to slide them in there that way. So 
just want to talk about that. This is something key for people to know, just to have in the back of their mind. Don't let it stop you from applying to positions, but just to have in the back of your mind is one reason why you may not get a particular position that you applied for. It's because it's already been filled and they just put it out, put the position out there to be equal opportunity and, and to seem like they're you know, hiring and doing everything they need to be doing. They're just checking the box a lot of the times. So, all right, guys, I want to share that with you. As always, email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for any resume review services, inquiries you may have, or any kind of career coaching. All right, guys, take care.